The world, so to speak, is here in New York for the annual meeting of the United Nations General Assembly, which kicks off here tomorrow. Let's bring in Stephen Yates to talk about all this, former Deputy Assistant for National Security Affairs to Vice President Dick Cheney and a distinguished fellow at the Hamilton Foundation. Stephen, always good to have you. You know, a lot to get to here. It seems like the Middle East has always been, well, a dangerous mess. Is it worse now? I do, Harris, believe it is getting somewhat worse. We have the spread of instability and radicalism getting broad-based. And the news out of Yemen is cautionary, I think, on two fronts. One, it reminds us that our narrow focus on Iraq and ISIS is not sufficient in terms of looking at the threats that we face across the region. The other is that these measures that have been used in Yemen over many years are many of the building blocks the president has in mind to use in Iraq and Syria with regard to ISIS. And if we see Yemen falling back into political disarray with warring factions of Sunni, Shias, and radical groups of all stripes, is that a foreshadowing of where Iraq and Syria would go even after our intervention? All right, talk to me about how Yemen fits in and all this. I mentioned that this government is U.S. backed and fighting on the other side. Well, technically, I guess you could say Iran. Right. Well, Iran has been a very active force in the region, supporting uh, Islamist groups in multiple countries. It's been a part of basically a sectarian civil war wherever fighting has broken out. Yemen, in particular, has been a problem because of its strategic location on a major waterway, important to international trade. But it's also been the source of recruitment of people trying to conduct attacks in the United States, including the Fort Hood shooter, and some attempted attacks with the underwear bomber and the, the printer cartridge attempt at uh, terrorism here. And so Yemen has been a training ground and a hotbed of, inst hot, hot of instability for some time. And these intelligence cooperative measures and drone strikes, these limited moves, mm -hmm. haven't really moved the needle fundamentally there. Uh, you know, I want to go back to something you just said. You said the focus on ISIS has not been sufficient. Why do you think that is and, and how do we know that for sure? Well, I look at two contrasting styles of presidential leadership. When President Bush uh, looked at the world after 9-11, he defined a global enemy, a threat. He developed a broad-based strategy for all of our policies around the world, and then he delegated those strategies to regional experts and his cabinet to work at the tactics around the world. President Obama hasn't really provided that kind of strategic definition of an enemy or a strategy. Instead, we seem to be caught by at reacting to events, and his cabinet seems to get deployed to have isolated strategies for isolated, isolated developments. So what we're doing in ISIS and Iraq isn't necessarily tied to a broader regional upheaval, which we've all witnessed since the Arab Spring. You know, I, I'm looking right now uh, that we have our eye on a group, and this is a report, uh, that there may be a group in Syria that may pose a bigger threat than ISIS. Your quick thoughts on this. Well, it's a group that has had very, very little public attention and discussion, but it's an important reminder that the Syrian civil war has gone on for a long time. It's been a magnet of many, many different kinds of foreign fighters. ISIS is the one that we focused on white hot, and perhaps justifiably so because it's taken strategic land. But it's not the only group, and it's not the only actor. This is a very complicated region, and airstrikes on ISIS are definitely not going to deal with these other groups. Yeah, they've taken more than land. They've taken a couple of right. Americans' lives very publicly. Uh, Stephen Yates, we appreciate your perspective, your context on this. Thank you very much. We're now learning Thank more.